Okay, we're gonna get around to make the new axle. Because this one is badly deformed. The slot for the axle is rounded on both ends, 5 eighths of an inch across. And half an inch across that way. So the new axle, which we previously cut to length, needs to have the two sides flattened off. So it's going to end up a half inch wide across the flats. I just have to mark that out, then cut them. Both ends have to be attached 180 degree opposed. So to accomplish that little stunt, I'm going to scribe a line straight across. The carrier for that die cam is nasty stuff. I have to have half inch wide section here on the end of this. Don't forget to wear your stuff. Grinding down the shaft actually took about four minutes. I sped it up a bit because just watching me grind is not that fun. But I think it's funny when <laughs> I'm hopping around like a Charlie Chaplin. I have one end ground, good solid fit. This side's got to be a little tighter because it didn't wobble around as much on this side. Over the years, this one's been run loose, so it's managed to wear itself out a bit. This one's a lot snugger. So this one just fits over here. I'm going to grind this side to fit that one. And here we have one completed axle. Both cranks 180 degrees off from each other. Centered on the shaft. Good solid fit. Ready to go on the wheel. Now the axle ready. I just have to disassemble the grinder and slide it in. Sounds easy, doesn't it? It's going to be interesting. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. 
you know I read them all. Thanks for watching.